Let me just begin by saying that there are two sides to every story, and this is my side, the right one. I used to be anonymous, a nothing, a non-entity. Olive, that's your name, right? Yeah, uh, we've had nine classes together since kindergarten. So here it is, part one. Do you want to go out with me? Brandon, just a couple hours ago, you told me you were gay. You said I should pretend to be straight. I didn't mean with me. I am tormented every day at school. Just one good imaginary fling. Which brings us to part two. Is that all of Brandon? No grunt. I make it convincing. Oh. Don't stop. Oh, my goodness. You ready for the grand finale? Yeah. What? Virginity would be a little more special. Judy Bloom should have prepared me for that. Brandon told me what you did for him. No, he told me the truth. I was just hoping that maybe he could do the same for me. So whether I liked it or not, I was open for business. 20% off to Bath and Body Works? Is that how much our imaginary trust meant to you? I think rock your world. We need to pray for her, but we also need to get her the hell out of here. Amen. Amen. On Monday, things took a turn for the scandalous. Screw all these people, Olive. Ironically, we were studying the Scarlet Letter. This girl named Hester Prynne has an affair with a minister, is besmirched, and made to wear a red A for adulterer. Perhaps you should embroider a red A on your wardrobe. I'm not proud of this. I wanna hold them like they do in Texas, please. No judgment, but you kind of look like a stripper. Mom. A high-end stripper for governors or athletes. Is she the one everyone's talking about? Yes. I know exactly what you're doing. If I promise not to tell anyone, can I kiss you right now? I had a similar situation when I was your age. I had a horrible reputation. Why? Because I sent a whole bunch of people. Mostly guys. Mom! There's a higher power that will judge you for your indecency. Tom Cruise. 